Hello friends, welcome to GK Rabbit. Welcome to our series on Gmeter. So when developing advanced Gmeter script, most likely you will have multiple thread groups. Each thread group will be performing different requests. A good example of this is when we need to authenticate user with the bearer tokens. One thread group does the authentication and saves the token. And the other thread group needs to access this token and have to use this in their particular request. So therefore we need to make uh, we need a mechanism to pass variables between different thread groups. So in this Gmeter tutorial, we will look at how we can share and pass variable between different thread groups. For this example, our test plan will have two thread groups. The first thread group will make a get request to a to the Google home page, and then we will be using the regular expression extractor plugin to pass the response and extract a particular variable. So if you can see the first uh, in here we have two requests. This is the uh, home page means request to the Google home page. So once this is runs, we'll get a response. And from here, using this regular expression extractor, we will be uh, extracting a particular link and we'll be passing it to this images request in here in this variable. And again, there is another thread group in which the same images request is there. The request to the image page. So we'll be passing this variable to this also. So if you consider this and this, it is the same request, just the difference is that it is in the different thread group. So the extracted value is saved in a variable. So in here the variable name is images. This variable is only accessible within the same thread group and we can get its value by using this images. So once we run, you will see the difference between this, why I'm saying like this. So now the question remains that how we are going to make this variable accessible to other thread groups. So before doing that, let us see what is happening right now. So just run the test plan. And you will be seeing that the Google homepage request was successfully done. And it went to google.co.in and you got the response data. So the Google homepage was loaded. Now if you want to click on this images, so you will have to pass in the link uh, URL in this images page. So the whole server URL will be the same, but this part of URL, so this is the Google home page, and this is the image space. So this part of image uh, URL, sorry, this one, we have extracted using the regular expression extractor, and we are now passing it to this variable. So in this case, if you see the second one, it went to the image space as the request went in. So Google.co in the server URL, and this is the URL part that we extracted using the regular expression extractor. So now it is being correctly passed to this particular images request. But what happened to this request? So you can see in here, the value was not passed to this particular HTTP request because it is into a, another thread group. So to solve this, uh, we have to use a bean shell assertion to save the variable as a global variable. So to do that, just go to this thread group or Google homepage and just add a bean shell so just go to the thread group and add a bean shell assertion okay so once you have done this now we have to do a little bit of coding so it's you have to just write one line to declare it as a global variable so that will be just type in dollar then call braces underscore underscore set dot property so you have to use camel casing in here and now again uh, round bracket then you have to give the name of the global variable so i will be using as global images this is my global variable name comma now you have to give the name of the local variable so that you have to define as dollar then again images so this is your local variable you have defined it now close the square around bracket and the curly braces for the start and give a semicolon so you have correctly defined it and now in images space instead of using the local variable you have to use the global variable so you can do that by changing this to dollar uh, curly braces underscore underscore property and the name of the global variable that is global images the curly braces in this okay so we have made two changes we have inserted a bean shell assertion and we have declared this images uh, variable as a global variable 
so that can be done by using this command and then we are using this global images in this request as it is in, a, in another thread group so this will be treated as a global variable and this should the request which failed earlier should pass so now just save this let's clear the result previous results and now run the command and you will see the difference so now if you can see the request went into google home page so you can see it was loaded correctly now in the second uh, request which is in the same thread group it is correctly passed because the thread group does not change so the local variable is itself passed in here and you will get the response data as image and now this request which was failing earlier will also get the value as it is a globally declared variable so now you are getting this value and the, you are getting the correct response so in this way you can uh, create a local variable and then uh, change it to a global variable and use it in different thread loops so with this we come to an end of this video in series that was on declaring global variable using the bean shell assertion hope you have liked it and do post all your questions or suggestions in the comment section below so see you soon with more jmeter related content until then have a great time thank you and have a good day